It's mainly about the complexities of light and light becoming solid in some way and spaces forming around this um, sort of morphed light object which is a bit like ice and the spaces which are formed around it are very orthogonal, very strict uh, spaces which are actually the gallery spaces. The project is for the Photographer's Gallery in London. We were asked specifically to work with the Photographer's Gallery in London and that's something that made the project even more interesting for me because it's in a city which is very real and very well known to me and it's an institution which already exists but really has to be, hasn't yet been tackled on an architectural level. Um, but at the same time, it meant that we had to reinterpret the city and look at it uh, in a fresh light. I think all these things which were already quite real about the project um, made us sort of set a very realistic, pragmatic task in terms of designing a gallery. And so we're often thinking about um, the ways in which photography um, has developed and the many ways that the art of photography differs in terms of its exhibition, its storage, its viewing and its interpretation and culture. And so things like gigantic Jeff Wall photographs and new media work, which might be video installation, for instance, together with much, much smaller kind of 19th century photographs. And you can imagine the kind of variety of different spaces that that, can, um, that, that, will, that will need for exhibition. <laughs> I was in- incredibly surprised when I found out that I got it, but apparently no one around me was. So, <laughs> so I don't know what that means. But I, I probably still haven't been able to it. But I, think, I think it's a very difficult thing learning something at graduate level. And uh, to be able to then keep up the pace and keep up the standard of work, that's going to be my biggest challenge. But hopefully I'll I'll rise to it. (laughs)